Denver, Kansas City is up three and three quarters at 4.30 and a half. December, Minneapolis is up uh, six and a quarter at 6 Yeah, because they're like uh, banjo stand up back phase. Next, but feeders are up modestly as yeah, everybody digests email, last week's direct trade and board, gets a look like, at this wow. week's show list. December lives up seven at 127.37. I have more than one email going on my phone. at 131.72. November feeders are up seven at 169.95. Oh, wow. And on today's steady to lower cash and Friday's higher pork, December hogs are down 37 at 64.72. February's up to at 72.02. Brownfield. All right, that's your opening market report. Sounded pretty good. Courtesy of your KDHL Agri Booster, Julie Fockler and Kristen Twitchell are with us. Julie, you're going to remind me of your title. Operations Manager. Okay. And Kristen's the Executive Director. Yes. Of the Paradise Center for the Arts, it is no longer a hidden gem in Faribault, and it never really was because it's right there on Main Street. Hey, how did the 10-year anniversary go? Oh, yeah. it was fun. It, it was, was really a fun. lot of fun. We had folks all over the building, great music, just um, Julie, along with some other local artists who are probably in the holiday mm -hmm. sale, did artist demos, and we had our we had a second bar and the desserts upstairs to bring people up. Because a lot of folks don't know about the Clayworks Studio, the State Bank of Fairbow Clayworks Studio, or some of the other classrooms. classrooms we have up there. So you gave people tours. Well, they got to just come look and wander around mm -hmm. and eat good desserts. And, and see um, Diane Lockerbie and Barney Smith were doing pottery demonstrations. Dale Brown was doing fused glass, and I was doing painting. So that was fun. And then we had the live music and, of course, the spirits tasting. So it was just in some great costumes. Mm -hmm. I have to ask you this, Julie. Hmm. Because I would think painting takes a lot of concentration. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes. So having a crowd around watching it isn't. Well, I've been teaching a class here for a few years, and I think that's kind of helped me oh, with that. Okay. And that's actually one of the one of the holiday gifts you could give is Julie does uh, pet portraits, mm -hmm. so you could, you know, have someone. What do you call that? Commission. Commission. Get a custom pet pet portrait of your pet. So they take a picture of it and then you paint the picture. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can text me a photo, email me a photo, and I'll get that done for you by Christmas. Yeah, because it'd be kind of hard to have the pet pose for you. Yes, yes. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't always work out. So who are some of the other artists we have in We've holidays? got Janet Tangren. She does a lot of the fiber arts, beautiful aprons. Uh, Diane Lockerbie's got some functional and non-functional pottery. Tina Wagner is... In like mixing bowls and Yeah, stuff. some that's yep. decorative and some you can actually put in your microwave or your dishwasher. Yeah. Uh, Lynn Ryan, also pottery. Barney Smith, pottery. Carmen Tripp does some jewelry and fiber arts. Uh, Claire O'Connor is new with us. Think Diane would make me a custom-made mixing bowl? She might. You have to talk to her. Yeah. If you want a specific size and color. And for us non-visual artists, what are fiber arts? What's included in that? Fiber arts, um, some of the people are dyeing um, scarves and things like that, or making items. Um, Janet does beautiful wall hangings. I'm not sure if she's bringing any of those, okay. but she's got aprons and purses and handbags. Again, the functional stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then we got Bonnie Becker um, baskets. We haven't had her back for a while, so that's exciting. Dale Brown makes fused glass um, dishes and also ornaments for the tree. And he just had a class. Yep. He had a, cla a sold-out class this Saturday. He has a sold-out class December 2nd, so we added a second class for December 2nd. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Adele Beals, amazing paintings. Donna Schultz does pins and hats. Gail Kilmeyer, um, mittens, children's toys. Uh, Tammy Ressler, pottery, Audrey Sand, mittens and handbags. So there's going to be quite the variety. And they tell me mittens are warmer than gloves. I prefer mittens if if I'm not trying to <laughs> do something too complicated. Yeah. And some of them are still going to be the woolen mill ones, correct? Yes, yes. We'll have some woolen mill uh, mittens made by Gail Kilmeyer in the sale. I've always been a glove person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember wearing mittens except maybe when I was a really little kid. Well, we do have children's mittens for sale. So if you know any little guys that need uh, to keep their hands warm this winter, stop down and see us. This is at the Paradise. This is at the Paradise Center for the Arts. We'll have our opening gala for holidays this Thursday, November 9th from 4 to 8. When's it run till? It will go through December 22nd. Okay. My birthday is December 22nd. Well, happy birthday. I'll be 112. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like that sometimes. <laughs> 
So, Kristen. Yes. The Winter Farmer's Market is at the Paradise, Yes, too. that's coming back, too. Okay. So that opens November 18th and will be actually, I think, hopefully maybe you can get Tiffany on to talk more about it because this year I think Tiffany it's going to be yes. bigger and better than last year. Well, it's actually going to move into the auditorium space. Well, the cool thing about having it at the Paradise is won't the art work be available? Mm -hmm. Yes, so please? holidays will be happening as well as yep. the Winter Farmer's yep. Market. You could do all your shopping in one spot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And that will be Saturday starting November 18th from 1 to 4 p.m. And then we're going to keep it going one Saturday a month, um, February, uh, March, and April. February. i got to answer. Do we have Dana? Dana? This might be Dana. So you guys uh, keep jibber-jabbering. Okay, we'll keep jabbering. <laughs> well, for your listeners, we also want you to get November 30th on your calendar when Dana we bring C. Willie Miles back. He is America's trans, everyday trans, comedian, and you don't want to miss him. We we know from everyone who's told me that he sells out, mm -hmm. and his he's got clean comedy. It's a mix of comedy and storytelling, and he's back all the way from California. We're, we're having him on a Thursday night because that's when we could sneak him in with all his other bookings, so people want to make sure you get tickets to that show on Thursday, November 30th at 7.30 p.m. See Willie Miles. Fantastic. Fantastic. Didn't they do a good job while I was getting uh, Dana on the phone? It is Dana, right? <laughs> it yes. is, yes. <laughs> you want to introduce her? Yeah. Um, hi, Dana. This is Kristen. I'm the director of the Paradise, and we actually rebooked them because of all the transitions last year, and they were gracious enough to be willing to work with us. And so, um, so we're really excited to have Dana Luis and the Glorious Birds, and maybe she'll talk a little bit about who the rest of her band members are. Yeah, Dana, take it away. Um, well, I, two of my band members are in another band that has been playing together for 41 years, maybe coming up on 42, and they're called Chop Fishing in America, and uh, one of them is my dad, Ezra Idlett, and Keith Grimwood is a, a second dad, and uh, they're the rhythm section of the band, playing drums and bass, and uh, then my buddy Adams Collins, or Double Plo. So we like to call him. He plays vibraphone and banjo. That's the birds. So what are people going to hear? Are they going to want to go to the birds or what after this is over? So they're definitely not going to want to hear it. <laughs> no, I mean, what kind of music? What kind of music do you play? Um, it's it's kind of singer songwriter, folky jazz mix mixture of all different kinds of things. But uh, I write most of the songs and. Uh, play some some of my friends tunes also. Wow, she sounds very talented, Kristen. Yeah, and it's my understanding we've been kind of calling it American Roots, but I'm not sure. Uh, Gordy asked me where you're from, and I, I said I did not know because I know you were out touring. So where do you all call home when you're not on the road? Yeah, we're in Northwest Arkansas. Oh well, I should have known that area. So Fayetteville, what part of Northwest uh, Arkansas? Keith and, and then, oh, okay. uh, Keith and I live out in West Fork, which is close to a state park. Oh, well, that's fun. I will actually be in Arkansas in about a couple of weeks. That's where my husband went to the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. Wow. Isn't, isn't <laughs> Fayetteville the home of Walmart? Uh, actually, Bentonville is, but that's where he was living. It's oh, just okay. Bentonville's just north of Fayetteville. So. Huh. Um, well, hello to an Arkansan then. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I dragged him up to Minnesota. <laughs> so you still let? Boy, we got all kinds of problems here today, don't we? With this phone, you getting a delay? Oh, you're getting a delay, huh? Okay. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of a pain. I've had them before. <laughs> when you're hearing stuff after it, you know that's why there's a bit of a delay here, folks. There's a delay in what uh, what Dana's hearing. So you've done a lot of shows, I'm sure, in Minnesota, right? Right smack dab in the middle of winter? I'm so excited to be there. <laughs> and I think you, from the Paradise, you head up to Fergus Falls to our friend Michael Burgrass um, at the Fergus Falls Art Center, is my understanding, right? Yeah. Which, oh, it gets much colder. <laughs> yeah. The tree. <laughs> areas of the United States. Yeah, it, it's much colder up in Fergus Falls than it is here. This this will seem like, uh, you know, southern Iowa compared to <laughs> to Fergus, Fergus Falls. <laughs> you got anything else you want to ask, Dana? Uh, 
just uh, we know it sounds like we're going to get some original music. We are actually doing this show free to veterans, so we're really excited just to um, be able to offer that to our veterans and wondering if there's any surprises or what our audience might be in for on Saturday night. I don't know if there's any surprises. Uh, I know I have a few songs in mind that I want to sing um, because of, of you guys letting the veterans in for free. and uh, Yeah, so I, I have that in, in my mind and heart going into the... Well, that's cool. What are tickets if I, I'm not a veteran? Um, tickets are 20 for non-members, 15 for members, and then $10 for students because we'd love for some students to come out too. Oh, that would be nice. Wow, Dana, you got the pressure on there. You know, the veterans are getting in for free. That's all right. That's good. So I would assume a few patriotic tunes? Yeah, I think we. I, I think I have some like that. At least uh, I have one called Soldier's Heart, and a really good friend of mine um, who's a veteran, two-time veteran, uh, called PTSD. So that night, that always stuck with me, and... I think that's an old, maybe World War II uh, term for PTSD. You have veterans in your family? Yeah, we do. You know, like your dad or uncles or brothers or something? Or maybe sisters, too? Yeah, grandparents. Yeah. Generations, but I, when I went to school in Arkansas, it was a real small town, and I, a lot of folks came came out of there into the army and serving and so it's it's real common around here so you've got a great appreciation i was in little rock at the joint readiness training center i don't know if it's still there back in the day i got to tour the place got to meet with the general right about the time that we were over in the middle east in the early 90s just as we were hitting uh what was it rock in the early 90s i was at the joint readiness training center doing interviews the day before they went in. How's that for timing? Wow. <laughs> so everyone's familiar with Arkansas up there, huh? I guess, yeah. Arkansas, you know, well, didn't we have a president from there? Yeah. Well, that and president? I also, I also know that similar to um, kind of the Appalachian culture that that Northwest Arkansas kind of rural mountain Ozark area really has its own music vibe too so we're really excited to have that here there's that um, Eureka Springs there's this whole great area around north in Northwest Arkansas that really supports musicians and artists as well and so it's not surprising that we'd get a gr great group of musicians out of there my first radio job I was in southeast Missouri not far from Arkansas, okay? I was in DeSoto, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure you have. DeSoto, <laughs> Missouri, KHAD Radio, which was the largest radio station between St. Louis and Little Rock in terms of, you know, uh, power. <laughs> <laughs> so we got everywhere. And you know where I used to go quite often for fun? Not just St. Louis. I'd go there to ball games, but I'd go down to Little Rock. Yeah, yeah down to Little Rock. Little Rock's a pretty cool town, I think. So, Dana, if you have anything else, I think I'll let you go, and we're going to wrap up the show here with uh, Kristen and Julie. Julie. Right, Chris, uh, I'm, I'm real excited to see you all. Are you going to be out at the show, too? Me? Yeah. No, I'll be, I'll be doing... Some broadcasts here for the radio. Unfortunately, I don't get to go to many shows. I'm always working, Dana. <laughs> it's a bummer, Dana. I have to work all the time. <laughs> I'll bet you do. So, you guys have anything else you want to yeah, bring just up? Thanks. We're, we are excited to have their music and nothing better than some good banjo and stand up bass to warm you up on a cold night here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Toe tapping. I love toe tapping music. All right. Thanks, Dana. You have a super duper day and drive safe up here, okay? All right. Oh, that sounds like a very cool gal. Yeah. yeah. And she's from your neck of the or your no, husband's my husband's neck of the woods. I'm a Minnesotan, but I I married a so Arkansas. How'd you guys meet? We actually met in Texas at a continuing ed conference. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arkansas. Uh, where are you originally from? I'm from Central Minnesota. Okay. 
So Minnesota, Arkansas, meet in Texas. You know? <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, we actually met in Dallas at uh, Southern Methodist. So, but I've been to Arkansas a lot of times and it's very pretty, but I told my husband if he wanted our relationship to go anywhere, he was going to have to move up here. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he, he, he did he that. He did, he did. So yep. that's pretty cool. Actually, Arkansas is one of the places when I retire, I was thinking about maybe moving to because I'm not a big Arizona guy. It's okay to visit, but I don't know if I'd want to live in Arizona. Yeah, it's it so blasted hot there. I don't care if it's dry heat or not. You know what I'm saying? But it does get hot in Arkansas, too. It does, but a lot of folks, similar to uh, our snowbirders, are choosing Arkansas. There's actually a community right on the northwest Arkansas-Missouri border called Bella Vista, and I'm pretty sure there's more Midwesterners that live there than folks from Arkansas. And then sure. another kind of similar community that has a lot of retirees is Conway, which is where near where my husband's from. But so, I'm thinking maybe Oklahoma, Arkansas. Some yeah, but if you like to golf, they've got. They, we were out there and they were golfing, you know, in late December last year. So. No, and it, I got relations in Texas. I'm not a big Texas guy. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Texas if people are listening in Texas. But. Well, yeah. So it's a busy, busy November here with the the holidays mm -hmm. opening, and then we've got the the nativity opening and then we've got the winter's farmers market opening and see Willie miles and then yeah. and dana louise this saturday then december 1st our coconuts and mistletoe presented by paradise community theater and written by our local dan rathman opens for our holiday christmas play so it is just back to back to back so see willie miles is when november 30th 7 30. okay so yeah, folks want to get tickets to that soon. We actually, it's a great problem to have that this Saturday we sold out for the Wine, Women, and Comedy from oh, Sister. Oh, that doesn't surprise me a bit. Right, but people, I don't, you know, th shows are selling out, so don't wait to get tickets. We had some folks who missed out because they didn't try to get tickets till Saturday, and we had sold out before the day opened on they Saturday. They didn't think you'd sell out. But we do have a lot of shows that have been selling out. So. And we have a lot of classes that have been selling out. We had a Raku firing uh, this Saturday at Lockerbie's that was full. And Dale Brown also had a fused glass class, and that was full. Awesome. So, you know, get registered ahead of time. Buy your tickets ahead of time. You can find that information on the Paradise website, yeah. paradisecenterforthearts.org. You can buy your tickets right there when we're closed. Yeah, you can do it in your PJs. Yep, that's right. Or you can also buy them from our box office, come downtown, or call 507-332-7372 and get them over the phone. It's so convenient to be able to do that online. Mm -hmm. We're actually running for our winter shows. We'll be back in December to talk a little bit more about it, but we'll be halfway through that run, so make sure folks know now, starting with C. Willie Miles on November 30th, if you've got a business or a group, and want to have a holiday party with us we've got some great rooms you could reserve and have a pre-party and also we're doing discounts on tickets if you have you a could group. just get a caterer to bring in the food or what? yeah absolutely so it would be a great holiday party option if mm -hmm. you're looking for something unique if you own a business or you want to get friends and family together and we'll do some good discounts on tickets and then space. Could maybe use the stage as a karaoke place for. <laughs> Probably party. not. It's the stage is a little full right now with all of our shows. And in later December we have Cat Perkins doing her holiday show and the Joseph Hall Rock and Roll Remember uh, Elvis. He's our cute young hot Elvis. He'll be doing his Christmas show in December also. And he was on America's Got Talent and Cat Perkins was on The Voice. So we're giving NBC some press too yes. with their, yeah, no and their those, talent shows. And those uh, are um, those tickets are selling fast, so I would get those ahead of time. I would think so. That's some pretty high quality entertainment yep. that comes to the paradise. Yeah, we are really excited and we are actually working on next year's lineup and we'll be announcing that in early December. Okay, gonna take all January off? No, <laughs> oh no. I will give this one teaser because we like to get the word out there. Our Opening act, our season kickoff will be Saturday, January 13th. Save the date. It is Run Like Hell, which is a Pink Floyd event. It's my mom's birthday. Okay, well, uh, what, if you're a Pink Floyd been. fan, <laughs> save that date, January 13th. Would have been a birthday. Yeah, so, January 13th. Yeah, so we we hope folks will come out on she Thursday always, night. She always used to say she was born on a Friday the 13th. Oh, <laughs> well, occasionally it would be, right? I guess I've never looked it up. I'll have to check and see if she was accurate on that. 
<laughs> so our class is coming up too, Julie, here that people can get involved in? Yes, uh, Diane Lockerbie has a class tomorrow starting, I, sorry, 10 or 10.30. Um, it's called Retired But Not Tired. It's a clay class. Again, and that's you, on the website for yep, details. Yep, that's on the website. Uh, December 2nd, we've added another class for Dale Brown. Uh, Diane Lockerbie has a adult and child holiday clay class. Um, we filled up one. We've added a second one. Check the website for that. Um, all kinds of fun stuff coming so up. So do you do some artwork with your mom? Uh, my mother sews, so I guess we've done some clothing together. I, mean, I would think that would be kind of a cool But you've done stuff way. with your sister. My sister and I do collaborations at least once a year. Well, there you go. Yeah. But you, you do I do stick with your people. Kids. <laughs> no, I, I am not a visual artist. She's a literary artist. Uh, yeah, my background is in writing and then performing arts. I, I, whenever my kids help ask for help with their visual arts, I can draw. I'm a really good stick person. So. And that's it, huh? Well, I actually have done some pottery and photography. Well, there you I, go. The ones see. that are a little more hands-on, but I, painting is not in my gift area. So. I would guess it takes a lot of patience to be a good painter. I think it's practice. And like anything, you, know. you just do it over and over and over and you'll get better. So did you take this up right away or later in life or what? Not I've that been, you're old, don't get me wrong. But. My, my, my mother found out if she gave my sister and I our materials, we were kept occupied and quiet. Well, there you so, go. <laughs> so we've been making art our whole lives. And we both went to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. Oh, cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Are you, is she a twin or something? No, she's 16 months younger than me. She's a sculptor and printmaker, and I'm a painter. So almost an Irish twin, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty close. Well, my yeah. older brother and sister are not very far apart either. <laughs> then the folks got <laughs> smart, waited four years to have me, and three years to have my little sister. Give you a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you got to space them out right, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, All so we right. hope folks will celebrate the holidays with us. There's lots of different opportunities at the Paradise Center for the Arts. There most certainly is. And again, that website, very navigable too. It's been updated. Yeah, yes. we just went to a new website. So we're, we always welcome feedback. Changes always makes things different and unique, but we're trying to make it a little bit more user-friendly and get to highlight more of what we do on our website. Well, it was clearly user-friendly before. Right. But I do like your upgrade. And it has a mobile app. So you, it's really easy to use on the your phone. The thing I like most is being able to order tickets online mm -hmm. for yes. everything, including the Merlin players now. That's right. Yep. yep. ParadiseCenterForTheArts.org. All right. Well, thanks, ladies, Thank for you, coming. Thank you, Gordy. There's always lots of things to do. So, again, yep. veterans get in free for your show on Saturday night. Saturday, November 11th at 7.30. Correct. You'll and then this set for Thursday night, holidays, grand opening at 4 p.m. Some great toe tap and music. Yes. So we encourage all veterans in the KDHL listing area. I don't care if you're in Lakeville, if you're in Elysian. That's right. If you're over in Rochester, come on over to the Paradise downtown Faribault. I guarantee once you experience it, you will be back. Thanks, right? Gertie. Absolutely. You will be back. <laughs> that concludes today's edition of AM Minnesota. Jerry jumps in here tomorrow and hosts the show, and he told me he has no clue what he's going to talk about. Maybe he'll kick the tires on his John Deere and share that experience with him. You're in tune to KDHOAM, Faribault, Minnesota. Make this a fantastic day, okay? It is a bit nippy out there. Don't make sure you put on a sweatshirt under the coat. Hey, Wilson County Sheriff Joe Tackett tells ABC News that Devin Kelly methodically entered the church and began emptying.